If you have a lot of gadgets, you probably have some of these guys. These are cables, obviously, and it can be kind of hard to manage them and wrangle them and wrap them. So today we're going to look at six different ways that you can wrap your cables and keep them in good shape for a long time. First, let's learn the alternating coil wrap. If you need to make sure you don't end up with kinks and tangles in your cable, alternate the direction of your pull with each loop. This way your cable will unwind with ease. The shortening method not only keeps your cables neatly wrapped, but serves to shorten them as well. Start with a single coil and just start looping one part through the middle and around the cable. You'll have a nice braid-like look when you're done and you can unwind the cable bit by bit to lengthen it as needed. The shortening method works really well to make a nicely looped cable, but it can take a while to perform if you've got a long one. If you're in a hurry, just coil the cable normally and start shortening the cable wrap at the end. This won't really shorten the cable, but it's a quick and dirty way to get a secure wrap. Speaking of quick and dirty wraps, the overhead knot is a great example. Just wrap the cable back and forth until it's somewhat short, and then start a simple knot up top and pull it through loosely. While this may cause some kinks and be a problem if you leave it in too long, it's possibly the fastest method you've got at your disposal. Obviously, you can't have a cable wrapping video without a binder clip. If you're short on time and have one around, you can employ the same methods as the overhead knot, but just secure the cable with a binder clip rather than tying the knot in the first place. Finally, when storing cables you don't plan to use regularly, you don't have to spend a lot or any money on cable ties. You can just use tape. Coil your cable, then wrap a strip of tape around it backwards so the sticky side touches your fingers and not the cable. Then wrap another piece of tape so that the sticky side is facing down and no adhesive gets on you, the cable, or anything else. Now you've tightly bound your cord and you can easily remove the binding with a quick pull. And that's all there is to it. Sometimes you'll need a binder clip, sometimes you'll need to tie a knot, other times you'll shorten those cables. It'll depend on the situation, but now you know a cable wrap for whatever comes your way.